What's going on, everyone? It's Legend of Two Games, Reverend for Real Fans, Real Talk. Just enjoying another great NFL Sunday. As you can see, I'm just kicking back, enjoying after a great Colts victory today. But I had to get into some uh, Week 8 recap, some things I saw, some things I didn't see, some things we, we need to talk about, man. And there's a couple teams that I think today have eliminated themselves from the playoffs completely. I think their season is done. Uh, we're going to start with the Chicago Bears. I was completely wrong. I thought you guys were Super Bowl contenders. I thought you guys were going to build on the success you had last year. I thought that defense was elite. The defense is still really good, but overall the team is bad. And after losing today, last place in the division, they're three and four in the season. I know there's a lot of time left, but I just don't see it happening. They can't run the ball. Mitch can't make, make enough throws. The defense can't get enough stops in key situations. I don't think they're going to the Super Bowl. I don't think they're going to the playoffs at all. I think their season ended today with the loss to the lowly Chargers at home at that. That's back-to-back -back weeks that Chicago has lost at home in game that I felt were must-win. They're done. Also, the Cleveland Browns, all y'all that was hyping the Browns up. Oh, they got Odell Beckham. Oh, uh, Baker Mayfield is ready to break out. Oh, they got Jarvis Landry. Listen, they trash, bro. They're done. Another bad loss for them. And it's not even that they're losing. It's how they're losing. Very undisciplined football. A lot of turnovers. A lot of penalties. Playing behind the eight ball all game. Today, they were already down 17-0 before they got any type of offensive possession going. Two really bad fumbles by Nick Chubb to start the game. Baker Mayfield is taking bad sacks because he's trying to force the ball down the field. And then Freddie Kitchens. For those of you that didn't watch the game because it got ugly very quickly, there was a situation in the game today where he actually took a penalty on 4th and 11 to make it 4th and 16. His thinking behind that, he didn't want to waste the time out by going for it on, because he knew he wanted to go for it on 4th down. It's, it's disgusting. If you get a chance, go back and look at it. Um... They're done for the season. And a couple things we learned about some contenders today. 49ers, really good. We knew that. They continue to, to show us how good they are and really solidify their spot in the NFC. Saints are really good. Um, Patriots are, are the Patriots. We know that, of course. But I'm going to really be focusing on the NFC right now because the AFC, we know it's the Patriots and then there's everyone else. It's the Colts. It's the Chiefs. It's the Texans. Raiders are pretty good, too. Ra pretty good, too. Buffalo took a bad loss today again because we know that offense isn't really ready for prime time. So it's really the Patriots on the AFC side of things. But on the NFC side of things, we got the Niners, we got the Saints, we got the Packers who I'm watching right now. Um, Eagles look like they're trying to get back in the mix. We got to see what Dallas can do coming into next week. A lot of good teams, man. The Panthers aren't out of it yet either. Seahawks with another good win today. The Rams look like they're rolling. So we're looking at possibly seven teams in the NFC battling for six spots. It's going to get really interesting, man. Stay tuned. Real fans, real talk. Legend of two games. Every Thursday night we go live. And when we're not live, you can check us out on realfansrealtalk.com. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk.